scared, running for their lives in fear of torture, persecution, killing and rape. This is not just a, a movie or a theory or a story that you read somewhere in the newspaper. This is the story of the Kokoya family. This is really the story. Kokoya family, we took their case three years ago. And in the last three years, we've been fighting for their right. They converted from Islam to Christianity, escaped Nigeria, found their ways here to Canada. I am an infidel as far as my family is concerned. I converted from Islam to Christianity. So, because my dad belongs to an Islamic group, Nasir Fatia, they are affiliated to the Boko Haram and other extremist groups. During their coming here, they was hoping for a new beginning, a life, a justice, where they can say their stories and they can make a new life away from this fear, away from this torture and persecution, away from this nightmare. But quickly their dreams start to change and their hopes start to perish when the Canadian justice system ordered their deportation. We took their case and they had to be hiding for two years underground, the Morafa, the mother and her three kids. And they was not able to go to school or even to the hospital or a doctor for simple reason that they was in fear of their deportation. We was able to stop the deportation temporarily until a decision is made. And we send more than 1500 pages and new evidence through their lawyers. And the officer in the humanitarian application neglected this 1500 page and their case was rejected. I sit down with you today with the challenging news that now they are facing deportation again. Now, if you know One Free World International very well, you know that we'll never give up and you know that we will never be defeated. I'm speaking to you today, declaring that we're starting a new campaign, legal campaign with one of the best lawyers, immigration lawyers in Canada, Chantal Delage firm, with One Free World International and City, uh, Rose City Kids organization. We stand all three of us together to fight for this family. Today, we are fundraising more than $15,000 for their legal fees and their expense. And we know that we'll win this battle with your help, your prayers. This is the time that Morafat, Joyce, Siba, and Victor need you the most. Thank you and God bless.